um, you think you're a good number two? What makes you think you're a really good number two? So um, I've actually learned that I'm a good number two by being number one. Right. Right? Uh-huh. Um, and I th- for the before being number one, for the longest time I was a number two supporting a number one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And my and what they always needed was enough information and enough options to make decisions. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and that meant I had to be really good at people and process and systems. Mm-hmm. So that when I'm coming to them, I'm like, there's one, two, three. You need to make decisions about A, B, C, um, because this is not working because of one, two, three. To make this, to make the right decision, I have these three scenarios that you can choose from. Mm. So all they have to do is make a decision. Right. Right. So you need to make it easy for them to make decisions. to make a decision. Yeah. And I think that comes from also a background in just managing communications because in managing communications, one you you have to take in a lot of information really break it down to like dumb it down mm-hmm. um, and then get the other person to like either to you, you're either persuading them or you're either getting them to, you know, make the right decision mm. really quickly, but it needs to be have to happen really quickly. Mm. So I think over time I've learned to do that as part of working in communications and right. I just do that. Mm. Um, and I didn't realize how good I'd gotten and how it really served my number ones mm. until I became number one. And then you needed a number two. And then I had a number two and they're just not getting it. And I'm just like, they're not why, doing... are you, why are you coming to me with a problem? You come to me with solutions. For solutions so we you can know? make a decision. <laughs> yes. And you yeah, don't just come, it. you come with me, you come to me with um, context of the problem. Yeah. The bottlenecks and the solutions. Right. And then no matter no matter how many Context, times the problem and the solutions. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um and no matter and no matter how much I kind of like show like tried to show them, I saw like this was so foreign. <laughs> there was such a foreign aspect for them. Was it natural to you? For me it was when you very, were starting out? Um yeah, I think so. Okay. Um I'm trying to think back to my first job in radio. I was always like that. Okay. I don't know if it if it just came from um, being a firstborn or the life I led before that. I, I don't know. It's okay. just like it's something that I, I want you to make a decision. Yes. I know what you um, need to make a decision. Uh-huh. Sometimes I want you to make a decision so that it fits my agenda. Yeah. So I will give you... <laughs> una, una, una yes, yeah, you yeah. know? So you that's how... the that's best how, option, Mushoni. Exactly. That's how I look mm, at it. Right? Almond zone and then everything else is Yeah, it, it's a persuasion campaign, yeah. basically. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but mm-hmm. I feel like every time I was trying to... Sh- like every time I show them, like, don't get it. I still have to do the work. So I'm, then I, I then I'm not able to be the best number one. Yeah. But then, I, and I came to realize training um, a number two is really hard when you're at number one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but when I was, okay. So anyway, that's besides the point. But why mm. am I a good number two? Um, I think one, it's because I'm very good at placing myself in somebody's shoes it's seeing the bigger picture. Like I'm, I'm a visionary. Like I, I can see the bigger picture as a number one would. Mm. I can um, see what's the right decision to be made mm. based on the context that that is there. Yeah, I can see the consequences of the decision that we're going to make. Like I, I can see the whole three hundred and sixty as a number one would, mm. um, and consider all the different options. Mm. That even the number one sometimes might have not considered. Might not have considered. Mm, mm, mm. Um, but then also because um, of my, I guess, background in communication is building relationships. Right. I tend to like get information even when I'm not looking for it. Right. Yeah. So mm. sometimes I have like not just the big picture of the vision, but I have the big picture of, you know, the on things, ground. yeah, on the ground. Right. So that makes me a really good number two, mm-hmm. like a very strong number two. And I've mm. always thrived, actually, mm. 